Is Twitch for real giving me ads to watch other streamers stream the Nintendo Direct while I'm streaming? <laughs> it gave me like an ad for some coming Johnny. Um, okay, I've given myself exactly four minutes to talk about the Direct before the Direct begins. Here goes. Um, so we didn't have E3. This is the first piece of information that we need to think about going into this for predictions. Because on the one hand, that is the other event, pretty much the only one, that and the Game Awards, uh, where they could possibly show Breath of the Wild. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, if that game is theoretically coming out in March of 2023, which, uh, I don't know, they haven't said anything to dissuade me of that notion, maybe AG Avenue will show up and tell me the game's delayed again. Uh, that's like, what, six months? We still don't know what that game is named. So some more information on that would be very unusual, but nice, but very unusual. Um, what... What dissuades me, though, from thinking that this is going to be that, that big E3 size blowout is that this is an AM Direct. When when a Nintendo Direct hits at, like, 3 p.m., you know shit's different, that that's going to be, like, the big guns. This is, like, a morning Direct. I think whatever pressure would have been bottled up uh, by skipping that presentation uh, was kind of vented Um over the summer, when they were releasing tra trailers for stuff like Bayonetta and for Xenoblade 3, uh, they, they were really pulling another Origami King on us. They, they were going 2020 on us, that Nintendo. Um, I also hear a lot of people, I saw the Mario movie was trending, people are expecting to see that. Um, I'm neither here nor there on it, but with the way these things tend to work, if that is delayed until holiday 2023... Uh, it seems like there's a pretty good chance that we won't. So, those are the two big things that I've been hearing, Breath of the Wild and Mario Movie. I think we're going to see neither. Um, don't ask me why. I've got a good feeling about Fire Emblem. I think, uh, if those leaks are proven correct, we're going to find out in the here and now. Um, or I don't know. Maybe finally a Path of Radiance remaster. Um, speaking of, I've actually been hearing a lot about Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. That would be, like, a good, uh, segue for Asia and Uma to start talking about Breath of the Wild, too. Um, completely unrelated to this, though. I've been, like, a lot of my friends have been, like, playing Twilight Princess, like, on their own, uh, for whatever reason. Max has been playing it on Wii U. My friend Katie Rose has been playing it, uh, like, like a Twilight Princess randomizer. That's been a lot of fun to watch. Um, you have no idea how hard it was for us to get the Gale Boomerang. You will not believe where they fucking hit it. I'm so mad. Like, we use, like, the little, like, lookup where you can, like, cheat and, like, see where the item is, and it still didn't help. It was that bad, dude. Um, let's see. I also heard some varying Metroid Prime stuff. Um, I don't know enough about it to be like, oh, yeah, this is what the, what the rumor is, and this is what my thought, but I, but I, I see smoke. And where there's smoke... Let's see. And, um, personal wants, crack shot out there, whatever. It's not going to happen, but I I have to have something new to, like, fight for because I got Klonoa. And I'm never going to pop up that hard again. So I need, like, you know, I need to, like, just invent something to be excited. If, if, you know what? what? They should make a new Star Fox. I'm saying, I'm going to just decide that I want that right now. I mean, I think we're at the point in the Switch's life cycle. If we're making shit like Splatoon 3, if we're making... If we're so far along in the Switch's lifespan, where all these games and all these series have gotten installments on this console, um, and they're just making sequels to games that are already on the console, you know, Xenoblade 2 to 3, Breath of the Wild 1 to 2, uh, Splatoon 2 to 3, so on, so on, we haven't gotten any Star Foxes yet. I'd be down for that. But I don't know. I, th I think after what happened with the Zero... They're gonna... This is probably why Miyamoto just doesn't work on games anymore. Is like, someone, like, talked to him. He's like, all right, you, that's enough. Miyamoto, we're, we're going home. Get in the car. <laughs> um, oh, with that, it is 8 a.m. now. So, uh, I guess everything that I just said is probably gonna get proven wrong in the first trailer? Yes. <clears throat> all right. Oh, and also I want to know if that near port is going to suck or not. Because they got the, the Dark Souls remastered guys to put- on the continent It is Fire Emblem! Four realms surrounding a whole- Wait! And it is Path of Radiance! Look at the stained glass! 
<gasps> there's no fucking there's no fucking way there's no fucking way it's path of radiance unless it's like a, like a three like a path of radiance like a new Tellius game heroes from other worlds to aid us heroes known as emblems wait a second no it's like a that's like Roy as one it's like a like a series thing wait does that mean the leak is true imprisoning the fell dragon oh guys I think the leak is true I mean I don't like what got leaked but I do want it to be true. The binding weakens. Because then I just cannot play it, and then I don't have to feel bad about not playing it. Show me that stupid fucking pro tank. Oh my god, it's real! Oh, the male version looks even dumber! Bro, fuck this. Oh, but look, they have the cutscenes back! They're not using the shitty three houses pre rendered cutscenes? The cutscenes have blown since Shadow of Valentia. They at least have, like, a real frame right now, so that's nice. Oh, but if they're doing, like, a like a montage of characters from different games... He's got the ring, guys. He's gonna summon Corrin, and then I'm gonna have to play it. Fuck. Okay, but you know, I'm only gonna pop off if Corrin shows up. We know he's not. They're only gonna put an F Corrin mail. Corrin's gonna get lost in the dirt. Fire Emblem engage? You're awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? Oh, God. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know what... Stupid excuses they're making up. The leak really did, like, it's 100% dead on. Well, this also means that all the female characters are gonna suck. Like, they all just have, like, the same face. They're all just different versions of the same white woman. Man, uh, this game is already looking a lot better than Three Houses, though. That grass? Jesus Christ. Night and day difference. Three Houses just had, like, really, like, low-resolution painted-on shit. This is something else entirely. Okay, so I don't know, you can, like, have kinnies? You can, like, summon characters, but they're not, like, units. They just, like, hang out with you? Okay, this hub does not look as good. The, the lighting looks like it has more going on, but the textures look, like, flatter. I don't know. He's touching swords with Marth? I don't know if Kate is like that one. All right, I get the point. Give me, give me the male corn, guys. This is so exciting. Three houses took me like two years to clear. If I don't have to play this, that's two years of my life I could spend doing literally anything else. This is wonderful news. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. Man, I'm, I'm like so sad that I saw the picture of Ike, and I really thought it was gonna be a Tellius remaster. <laughs> you know what though? Um. Wow, January twentieth. So that's really soon. Hello, everyone. I'm. I'm glad that they, they they got someone else on the pre-rendered cutscenes though. That had to change, and I'm so happy it is. That's just good news for the future of the series in general, more than just the the micro story of this specific installment. That's a good long-term shift. In addition to the standard version. We'll uh oh. Be releasing the oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be like like a fates like multiple games you can buy again thing. Please look forward. Yeah. See, so that poster has a lot of the original characters on it instead of banking on the beloved character designs we already know. And uh, yeah, those ones are not especially remarkable. I can't believe they've still got an. Um, why it takes two? I can't believe that they still have Kozaki. Making banger designs. This is what this game looks like. Banger designs in this series. And they're trapped in the mobile game. And they're clearly suffering from the lack of it because it's worse outside of the mobile game now. Three Houses could, like, I guess, go toe-to-toe -to -toe and go on its own. Um, but this doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me. There is not a single Meow Meow to be seen. Um... Hmm. Regarding this, anyways, uh, I've heard good things about Take It Takes Two. Uh, the director of this guy, what did he say at the Game Awards? If you don't have children, go get some. Uh, this is the sort of thing that Tyler would... Uh, oh, it's only local play? Okay, no, you can play online. With the Friends Pass! Um, Tyler has been telling me non-stop that this is a good game, and that I would like it. Um, but man, that footage that I was just looking at of the Switch version did, like, not look good. So I don't know if I'm convinced yet. Uh, maybe it'll run better without having to go in split-screen, but I'm not excited about it. Fatal Frame? They already ported, uh, what was it, Maiden of the Black Water to Nintendo Switch? Does that mean that this is, like, a brand new Fatal Frame? Is that what I'm looking at right now? It sure looks like it. 
Fatal Frame Mask Back of the Lunar Stanford. Eclipse. Unless this is like a remake, I'm pretty sure. Ruka Minasuki visits an abandoned, Ruka in visits an abandoned lost memories. Use the camera obscura. Guys, it's just like Alan Wake. And I'm a photographer. We're sealed away. God damn it, Alice! Near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal frame, mask of Available early, early 2023. Hey, that's cool. They're still making those. Nintendo Switch next I guess the, the Switch port sold well. I wonder if it's gonna be a digital only title again. Mechanical? Mechanical? Oh, that's what this is. Bro, I'm still working through the main story. We don't gotta rush this. This is Eno, a new hero. She sounds to be profoundly loud. Mechanical? Complete her quest to have her join your party. Do I have to? Your options for <laughs> Bro, she's got PlayStation Triangle wings. Yeah, that, like they're having to turn down the cutscene audio like crazy. Test your I can already tell just from his B-roll that this is like a very obnoxious sounding character. Defeat all Man, it's a shame that I'm going to be taking a break from this game because I'm going to be doing Splatoon 3 as soon as I can. Swimsuit Noah outfits? Oh, woo! Bitches! I have bitches! Yeah, okay. You can't do that in Splatoon 3. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Until that, I wasn't going to feel bad about uh, abandoning Split, uh, Xenoblade 3 for Splatoon 3. Now I kind of do. Oh, but you know what? If, if it is October 13th, then that means I have, like, time. It means that I can do Splatoon 3 now, and then be back in time for the swimsuits, and then, like, miss nothing. Um, this looks obnoxious. I guess it's like a... like a successor. I really don't like what, what that Patrick is doing. Oh, guys, he's like the meme! He does the meme, like, on Twitter! Voiced by their original actor. They're so funny! I love it! Tweeting on the internet! Fuck off. They should make a game for people who decided to grow up instead of people who still think Battle for Bikini Bottom is a good game. I'm sorry, fitness boxing? Uh huh. I'm really surprised that they've gone to the length to make as many of these as they have. Because I guess this is like a successful IP. Um, the reason why that is, is completely beyond me, let alone why they would be doing a crossover like that. <laughs> but sure, Moms love Fist of the North Star. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules. Oh, this tastes like overcooked arenas. big time. Customize your character from head to toe with hundreds of accessories. Plus, oh, God. Why does everybody in this game have yeek teeth? Local and online play. What the hell is going on? Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. Early next? That looks like a kind of like, and it's out today kind of deal. Yo, Tunic! Brave the unknown in this uh, I've also heard really good things about this game. I had my eye on it for, for quite a long time. Um, oh, I gotta put this game on my man memorable manuals list on Backlog. Um, I used to have my eye on this game, and then I gave up on it when I heard that it was an Xbox exclusive, so this is cool. Um, now that I know a little bit more about what it is, though, I don't know if I'm in the mood for another, like, Fez-like, if the game really is, like, that obtuse and hard. Uh, I have to be in, like, like a certain kind of mood for that, but it's great that it's here. Okay, chill. Front Mission Remakes. Front Mission Remakes. Okay, so we already know about these. They announced this at a previous Direct, I'm pretty sure. Front Mission 1 Remake. You'll pilot giant machines called North Star is probably successful because the games are relatively cheap if I had to guess. Combat. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I, I, if there's anything that's even cheaper to make, it's gotta be fitness boxing. They make like three character models and three punching animations and, and you're good to go. Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased Continue the battle in the sequel. Take advantage of additional features, like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills added from the first game. Man, it is somewhat a shame, because I, uh, I wouldn't be completely averse to playing a Fire Emblem, but, uh, I guess... And this new game that's coming out, what is it, Fire Emblem Engage? Um... 
I think that finally gives me an excuse to just play Radiant Dawn and not have to worry that I'm missing anything else. Oh, After nearly 20 years of oh this frame rate. <laughs> oh. Man, I used to love Harvest Moon as a kid. I actually really got into this series for a little bit. And then I, I kind of just fell off it. Um, unfortunately, the Switch does not look like it's going to be the way to get back into it if uh, that frame rate... Look at that! It's like the before and after where there's no grass and the frames are fine, and then all the grass shows up and it starts tanking. They've got to know. You might even meet your future partner. No, but it looks nice though. Family. Hey, did they ever put gay marriage in this shit? In this installment, those around you. Will if you have kids, if you don't have kids, go get one. Go get some. Appearances will change over the years. Oh my god. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. Uh huh. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. People have tried to explain to me like a million times. The, the reason the, the 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 IP is the way it is like these are the Harvest Moon guys but they can't call it Harvest Moon anymore because some I don't know I I just I've tried to understand so many times and I haven't oh god please don't spoil me I haven't played yet please don't spoil me oh dude this new news music I haven't even heard this oh okay they're gonna announce the next Splatfest I guess. I guess I didn't get to play the first one. <laughs> Man, these characters look great emotion though. I really can't wait to play this game. Tune 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme. What would you bring? Gear Grub Fun. Oh! Okay. Or fun. Which one which one does Big Man want? Yeah, uh, I've heard a lot of people that were like. So Pretty unconvinced. Someone, including myself, on the idea of the tricolor splat vests. It seems now that with, with that demo, people really seem to have warmed up to it. And more free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Oh, I guess like the new emotes, maybe. Info in the future. Okay. That's surprising. I would have expected they would have like said like like a map or Some something. <laughs> Whoa! What would you bring to a deserted island? <laughs> As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. <laughs> They're picking some crazy things to make this translator say today. Oh my god. So much of that could be taken out of context. I can imagine it already. <laughs> I wasn't ready because they've been making HD two makes, uh, HD two D remakes of all sorts of shit. So even though the, like this is the Octopath Traveler art style, I wasn't like ready to say if it was like two or not. That's interesting that it's they're doing two though. It seems like that Live Alive remake turned out pretty good too. It's been doing really well. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. And it's nice Not to know that, that stench, despite it all, stench, Square Enix is God. occasionally having a good day. Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. Each traveler's path action differs between day what? and night. So it's... It's like 16 paths? <laughs> Good lord. I'm glad I didn't get into this series though, because uh, so many people that I know who did pick this up like had to put it down, because doing all eight routes just was too, too long. Like, And now it's like double the size, if I'm understanding correctly? I don't know. Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24th, 2023. These are a lot of next year games compared to what this year games. Was Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. Like I'm hearing a lot of 2023s. I heard Octopath was not very good. To the journeys of eight new heroes. Well, they they 
apparently they keep making them. Let's see some more headlines. Let's see some more headlines. A yeah, home. you sound really, you sound really amped up about it, Kozaki. Oh, maybe he was like really excited in Japanese, and the translator just like couldn't keep up with his enthusiasm. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting friendships in this farm simulation. I'm sorry, I already like lost track of how many games that are like this that have been shown off today. Is this like the third? Is this the third like farming life sim? Am I understanding that correctly? And explore the enchanted realms of Azoria. Along the way, you'll be friends. You know, sometimes they have directs where, where people will say, ah, too many JRPGs. Um, there was like that Disney thing that just came out too, that for some reason I was hearing about, and uh, and I guess now I need to make adjustments in my life to no longer hear about it. Because I want to say that this is just the latent trend of Animal Crossing New Horizon making ungodly amounts of money, and now more publishers that wouldn't otherwise be interested in it want to get it on it. But would the delay of that really be like three years? The lead time of that? Supposedly, unlike other RPGs, your party characters don't really interact for a while, which is very odd for a party. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest. No, it's the rhythm, yeah. Enjoy this has like been on 3DS. I don't know if it's been on Switch yet. Torn from the heavens. Suteki Dane and more. <gasps> there are three wow! five songs total. Songs are categorized by game, so you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. That's what it's all about. Now I can play. I, now I don't have to play any of the 15 Final Fantasies because. While the abridged stories of this have all got me covered. Theater rhythm final bar line oh, it's called theater rhythm? I always called it theatrhythm. I mean, I get that's the pun that they're making. I just never wanted to say it that way. That's not how looking at that work compels me to to speak it aloud. What? Okay, cool. Octopath Traveler. Live Jeez. Alive and more will be released. That's Look at that! The additional songs. That's ridiculous. Plus, additions containing a season pass and twenty-seven That's so many. extra songs. That's so many. Melodies of life will be available, including melodies of life. Special songs not individually available for sale. A cosmic adventure is just around the corner. Oh yeah, there was a an Ubisoft thing a few days ago. Uh, I certainly heard about this. I didn't see what the announcement actually was. Let's dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Mario, don't get Unlock don't get in there. Paths. Don't go in the rabbit's mouth, Mario. And help out the locals with their troubles. Yeah. At shops, you yeah. can get items that'll come in handy during Square battle. wants After to be Disney so bad. Battle, your team uh, rewards and get stronger. Yeah, in in so more ways than one, I would say. What the fuck is that thing? Different sparks. Each oh, there's like Luma Rabbids. And you can't get away with calling them sparks. I know what you really are. Can Mario and the rabbits put an end to the darkness? Mario I'm still not gonna play one of these games, but uh, I really liked watching Mike's streams of the first one. I don't know who I'm gonna watch so that I don't have to buy the second one now. I don't know what that's gonna be about. Pre-order the gold edition to get the Mega Bug Collection. Wow, they're not even going to talk about the Rayman DLC? That's really funny! And monsters. I guess I don't know if they ever showed it at that Ubisoft event. Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. Take a break from quests to chat with the locals. Cultivate crops. I'm going to I'm gonna take a break from this, I think, to chat with the locals, which is to say chat. Um, did anybody watch that Ubisoft event? Because I saw that, like, the, the teaser image of the Rayman here. Uh, they didn't show off any, like, gameplay footage of that, did they? Or is that, like, the most that we got? also caused different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy... I don't think I've ever streamed a Rayman game. Your in-game spouse. But that wouldn't be bad. These games should have gay marriage as well, by the way. Huh? 
Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. Oh, okay. They just like announced three and four back to back. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this in my predictions at all, but September is totally new NSO console month. Uh, I wonder if that's gonna happen. No, they're just now adding Mario Party to NSO. Never mind me. And two though. And three though. And three though. That's really nice. It took us like two years to get uh, the Donkey Kong Country series like drip fed to us. Just, just shotgun the whole trilogy, you know? Nobody's gonna be like, oh, but I've got to play two before I play three. Excite Bike 64. Man, this is a lot of games that they're mentioning in the lineup. And still no Banjo Tooie, even though they teased it when they first showed off the expansion pass. With an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack membership. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. Damn right there is. One more game we should mention? Perfect Dark? GOLDENEYE! Yeah, I heard that, uh... There was some, like, weird stuff regarding... Like, a Nintendo slash GoldenEye situation with online play. Hey, that's cool. Why not mix things up with these Nintendo Switch games? No date on it, though. Live your and, so that's it! No new NSO console this year. See you guys in 2023 and 2024. Perform over 100 types of daily tasks to build character. I played like Rune Factory 4 or something a ton as a kid, and I tried to get gay married but couldn't figure out the marriage mechanics. Turns out they didn't have it at all, if I recall correctly. Shake my damn head. Various Day Life launches on Nintendo Switch. Various Day Life? They've got to get a new names guy on these Square Enix games. Build a new rocket Factorio, hey! Management sim game. Um... Scour the planet. You know, Octopath Traveler is one thing. Then I can maybe even stomach Triangle Strategy. Eventually, but they have to be, like, doing it on purpose at this point, like right? But the planet's Someone's gotta tell these guys to knock it off already. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch. Because really, that's gotta be what's happening, because simply nobody is telling them no. And I've got to be the one to step forward and do it. What in the RPG maker? With her parents in this 2D exploration adventure, she wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. I'm into this. I think more games that look like this should be on Nintendo Switch. You know what I mean? Every decision affects her fate in Ib, launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. Man, Mario that takes Hunter me back to all those, uh, like, like the Crooked Man streams that Mike did. <laughs> Imagine a Griffin Factorio stream Yoshi Law. I'm just saying, oh my god, they're only just now adding Pauline. Oh. And Diddy Kong. Is it, like, for free, or do you have to pay for it? You thought $30 was bad? Guess how expensive I am now! <laughs> No, it's free though. It's a second free update. We're fine. Only those two characters though. The final summer. I don't know. I get the feeling that despite that DLC, that game is gonna need a little bit more than that to to be saved. If you know what I mean. Bravely Default is so good that they just keep making stuff and slapping on the font and trying to trick us. Ryza and friends set sail to investigate in order to protect their homeland from impending danger. Atelier. Isn't this... So apparently the, these are like... Not the developers, but like the artists behind this series that they have working on the the new Fire Emblem game. Um, because apparently it's it's not the Three Houses artists. That much is clear. So they got someone new. But I guess that's going to be the kind of thing that you got to like... Go to the fireemblem.nintendo.com to like learn about. New features are also in store. The keys to this life God, I don't know. If they put Corrin in it, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, if there's like a 3D model of him, and I can rip it. And they're gonna have new Cam Clark voice acting? Fuck! Dude, I gotta check my, my shipping label on that Cam Clark, like, print, signed print that I got. Oh, shit! Already? 
Here we go. Here's a sneak peek at two courses racing in. Oh, it's a Wonderland. Green. Well, this isn't. Mary yeah, this isn't from anything. This is a new one. Okay. Oh, look, and there's anti gravity sections. And they got the boosters! I didn't think it was possible. Whoa! Okay. Look at how textured those trees are. I didn't think it would be possible. Wait, they have the fucking trick ramps from Mario Kart Wii? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Okay, are they gonna like tell us all eight tracks or just like a tease that it's coming? Available this holiday? Come on, what are all eight gonna be? Plus expansion pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Man, that music sounds nice though. That's exciting. Next, we have some new There was a long gap between Nintendo Switch Sports. Wave 1 and 2. And oh, that's <laughs> They're just now doing golf. God. This release strategy fucking blows. Additionally, up to 8 players online can play at the same time. That's cool though. I'm sorry though. Nobody's going to be talking about Switch Sports. People fell off of this one so hard. We previously announced that the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development, so the update is now planned for this holiday. Yeah, take your time, buddy. Believe me, it's not going to matter. Next, we have a special guest. A special guest? Mr. Miyamoto! Miyamoto? Oh, he's gonna give us the Mario Hello. movie. It's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Miyamoto's like recording from his phone. He's like disheveled. He's like out of breath. He clearly just like ran away from somewhere. <sighs> Guys, you gotta listen to me. I just got out of the Nintendo uh, Illumination Factory. Uh, listen, I, I, I got an idea for a new Star Fox game. Listen, I, I, we're, we're, we're gonna break, make a new hardware accessory. We're, we're gonna let you use the gamepad with the Switch. We're gonna have, we're gonna have two gamepads. We're gonna have more Star Fox than ever before. It's gonna be beautiful join me and then someone like comes up from behind him and like wraps their arms around his neck and like he drops the phone and they drag him back into like a limousine you're coming with us mr miyamoto and then it's all over and then they roll the trailer it's the trailer for the new mario movie since the first game and we're still working on the series sorry a game a pigman pigman 4 bitches we started with that's not that's not the right clip over the world are planting flowers Here's a quick rundown. Did he just say some shit about Pikmin 4? When the direct is over, I'm sorry, I like went too hard on that bit. If he's talking about more than a mobile game, I'll, I'll go back and see if he like gave any nod to Pikmin 4. Cause uh, wasn't it like just a few days ago, the fifth anniversary of when he first mentioned the existence of Pikmin 4? This is, they usually don't talk about mobile games in the directs. I'm surprised that they're making the time for this. I don't know anybody who's played this. And feed them like, I know for a fact that people are, I don't know anybody personally. So, uh, LMAO Nintendo also trying to be Disney. I'm sorry, um... While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos... As cool as I pretend to be, with regards to hating corporations... Let's take a quick God, I, I do want to go to that Nintendo world. I have nearly 700 Pikmin. But then again, I've seen the tours... I'm like a roller coaster kind of guy. These bitches only have like two rides. There's like a Mario Kart AR experience, and like a like a Yoshi go round, and that's it. So I don't know really what I'd be like. Regarding the map, the clouds will clear along. Experiencing once I get there, right? Keep a record of location. I get to eat Mario flavored food. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. Uh huh. Cool. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's this just makes me miss Pokemon Go more than it does want me, more than I want to play Pikmin Bloom. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Is it really going to be Pikmin 4? I'm glad it's not the Mario movie. I was really worried that Chris Pratt was going to show up and be like, Nathan, where are you? Oh, wow. It's been a long time coming, huh? Oh, cool. I was expecting something like pretty visually on par with Pikmin 3. Um, a lot has changed since then. Come on, give me the four. Give me the numeral. Yup. Yup! Fuck her! I need Pikmin 4! 2023. That's so... 
I'm so glad that it's like was real all along. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, hey, that's all right. Able to play like this from the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. Wow. I really like how they're lighting these scenes. I also made a new t-shirt. Yay! That's cute. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core... Yeah, I wonder if you can use, like, pointer controls with the, the Joy-Con. ...Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward... Because people spoke very highly of that input mode with, um... Like, the Wii controls. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Thank you very much. Now, let's move on to some more headlines. Yeah, that's cool. I'm so glad... What's more exciting about the game itself is that people don't need to argue anymore over, like, people were just, like, they stopped believing the game was ever real. It's like, oh, he was just talking about, hey, Pikmin, Pikmin 4 isn't real, it never happened. Fucking Pikmin 4 truthers. Okay, well, we're muting this for a second. I can, uh, I can promise you you're not missing anything. Sorry, I'm just going to watch these people silently dance for a little bit. That's what I want to do with my time right now. Personalized recommendations? They don't need to make the, the fucking Just Dance algorithms, alright? They don't. The corporation-hating Apple loyalist. Yeah, uh... I'll, uh... I'll put... I'll, like, throw out all my gear. And then I'll, um... Get... The famed... Indie rock star garage dev piece of hardware known as the Microsoft Surface is what I'll do. You survived the season of death. <laughs> they gotta stop hitting me with these. Look at more farming! The season of death quietus continuously returns. Oh, they showed this off before. This is farming and JRPG, right? Travel the world. It's crazy popular. Uh, it's crazy how popular some of these dance games are. Yeah, um, weren't they like still? Along the way. At least in like 2017, they were still releasing just dance games for the Wii because the install base was so big, and I guess they were selling well. And all those games are are like pre-rendered videos. So they're really easy to port to like a ton of hardware. They only stopped making those for the Wii like very, very recently. Your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Me. Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Get ready for a devilishly good time. Yeah, this is this is one of those that I was after 500 years, Umbra Witch concerned that we weren't gonna get like in the present day. In the first day trailers that make she I don't know the like the pacing of the trailers felt memories. all wrong, like thrown off the second, when they released that shit on their own. To save her best friend. Cause if we get a new trailer, like, they're, they're re-showing trailers we've already seen because they don't have a new one, because they already blew their load. They wasted the one that they had. They should have saved it for a direct. They've shown this theme off before as well, um, but man, it's a slammer. I've been listening to a lot of Bayonetta music on my own time lately. God, I fucking love this series. The journalist Luca. And another Umbra witch, Jean. Yeah, um, I watched the trailer too. You know, my name is Viola. Oh, Enzo. They're gonna make Enzo a, a, like, like a Tumblr sexy man. Hey, that thing is cool though. The thing with like the stained glass wings and shit. I like that guy. That's a cool design. Available now. Man, I might have to smoke that. Direct. A new trailer delving more into what? gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. All right, sure. What are they doing with this marketing this series? A dark fantasy mystery. They're like doing everything they can not to put it uh in a direct for some reason, I don't know. Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. All right, this looks like a Danganronpa game with shitty frame rate. I'm gonna, I noticed that my computer isn't plugged in. I'm gonna just take my headphones out and like look for, like literally where did I put my cord? And then when I find it, and it'll plug it in. Oh, okay. Master detectives. Like where is it? From all around the oh. world. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So if I, oh, there's not enough slack in the cable. I'm at 30%. I was too busy thinking about Pikmin 4! You mean you have Pikmin 40% battery! 
and Shinigami. Okay, I put my headphones back in. It appears to be that I'm really not missing out on much. So that was that was a good save. That was a good call. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues and evidence. When you're ready, Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Save the deets for later, Kick. Obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your oh, progress. Anything but the mystery phantoms, dude. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through I'm their barrage of falsehoods! Cover the secrets of Master Detective Archives, Rain Code. Launching first on the Nintendo Switch system, Spring Jesus Christ. That's a crazy Enter one. The village, if you dare. I've got all my money on cloud version. There's no way. It's a cloud version. The yeah. installment in the Resident Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. As a cloud version. Ethan Winters must face the horrors. They can run this shit on a MacBook Air now, but they still can't get it on the Switch. Resident Evil Village Cloud. They they've been doing this with a lot of the Capcom games. Who, whoever's been telling Capcom that they can do this has got like you know has got to stop. Something about Danganronpa style characters are so off putting, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I can tell you what it is. It's it's the um. Additional story content and more will launch. It's the. Additionally, adjacent Komeda energy. Komeda series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch this year. There's gonna be like the one Dang and Rampa fan in like the comments of the VOD, and they're gonna hear me say that character's name wrong, and they're gonna go <laughs> on my ass. Action packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. All right, here we go. Wrapping it up with the sizzle reel. Exposed to avenge your father in this kung fu action brawler. By thrusting, tripping, and parrying opponents, you'll break their stance and gain the upper hand. Fall in combat, and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, oh my God. Techniques to I'm doing enough of that as it is on my own time. Revenge before your time runs out. Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. No chance in hell they could run that on the Switch. It's high res and not performant at all. Yeah, I guess I've heard with like the PC port, there's been some some clunkage about that. And yet this is coming to Switch, not as a cloud port. Zach Fair is a young and ambitious soldier operator. I mean, you know, blah blah blah. Different developers, different technology. They're not as com comparable as one would think. Hi, Sephiroth. Hi. Hi. This remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. I mean, this looks like jaggy and blurry enough to maybe be Switch footage. Launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. The classic arcade shoot 'em up Radiant Silver Gun is coming. Hey! Switch. Oh, cool! Types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus. Or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today. Wow, that's really chill. Team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless universe. Okay, well. But it's not as I might have been interested sound. until you said that. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters. As you they li they literally should have lied and just told me that it wasn't a roguelike. Various quests to unlock new heroes. They gotta knock it off with these. Station areas. I'm sick of roguelikes. No more, please. Players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what? Okay, well I saw these character designs and I don't like it for multiple reasons now, but it doesn't help. Also, that, this is not a sizzle reel. I guess the, the, the broader category is like action games. Shit! I remember in elementary school, I had a classmate who like made me draw these characters. You're like, oh yeah, here's how you can draw. What is it, Lloyd? Yeah, I know Lloyd. I remember Lloyd. Clearly, it's, it's left an impact on me still. It's a... Uh, it's very much like George Washington anime, you know what I mean? 
shit that looks very much like that. Motions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. The fate of two interconnected worlds hangs in the balance. FV7 is, I'm, I'm guessing you mean FF7, is RPG type instanced battle, so it's a lot less demanding in terms of characters active, etc. That's really surprising to hear to me. Because, God, so many of these games do not look good. <laughs> I thought that was the last of us two for a second! Because <laughs> uh, they turned those Final Fantasy games into like action games. So you're going like psh, psh, with the sword and there's like particles, like a million little bits of sparks like flying everywhere. Um, and that feels like a lot louder of an experience than like, I don't know, Resident Evil, you're just like wandering like hallways. And sure, they're like very ornate, but you know, typically the advantage is that like you're only ever like in one room at a time. So you can get like a lot of like interesting rendering tricks by, by focusing so tightly on just smaller intricate areas. I get it! Like, I, I totally get why it's not on Switch, and I'm not saying that I'm, I'm mad about it, I understand it. Uh, it's just a very weird thing to see back-to-back. -back. And I, I, d d honestly, I would rather no game on Switch- Kirby! No game on Switch at all. Kirby. Is this a return to Dreamland? Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, cool! They, like, changed DDD too! Spaceship crash I've, uh, I've never played Return to Dreamland. This might be the one for me. His home planet, Kirby and his friends set now there is never going to be a reason to play as lesser DDD. In to sword, the Wii version is just obsolete now. And other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability yeah, Final Fantasy, I'm just you. traveling for work. Okay, I gotcha. From a distance, or punch him up close. It's packed with other I remember one, there was one Apple keynote the game where they, uh, they announced Apple TV Plus. System. And Apple Car, like it was all about like services like this. Can play as um, Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. Awesome. Yeah, this game looks good. Hal is kind of killing it lately. They're making a lot of Kirby's, and they're all good. This includes the new sub game Magalore's Tome Trackers. Magalore's Tome Trackers. Like oh, this Samurai rules. Kirby. I love Samurai Kirby. All sub games can be played with up to four players. <gasps> it's all the Return to It's all the Nightmare in Dreamland ones. This is what it's all about, my friends. Today is a glorious day. Yeah, these skyboxes are gorgeous. These backgrounds. But uh, I remember watching that Apple Kino at like an airport. It was a very unpleasant experience, so... You're very strong, Femi. Shit! As part of Kirby's no, I've got to pick that one up, dude. A remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be... Man, I just realized, though, they just did like a new Kirby 30th anniversary concert. And then they took all the videos off by August 30th. I never watched it in time. They made like an album of like the, the music for the 25th anniversary. Uh, I wonder if that'll be like something that they eventually do. Maybe they should put a link app on music, I don't know. This is Breath of the Wild too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't hide this shit from me with using all the abstract imagery. I recognize the shaders, dude. And also the the piano is a pretty obvious tell. This is already like a, a, a pretty interesting lead though, that they're putting their first foot forward with, um, like, this intriguing story more than, like, the world itself. Although, man, what a world! Jeez! Look at the scale of that. Oh, so cool! And long hair link! Wh what?! Oh, they're gonna give us the title drop, dude. Here it comes. The Legend of Zelda, come on, come on. Oh, that logo looks so cool! Tears of the Kingdom! I wonder if they're gonna give us a, a release date on that. Oh, I'm gonna rewatch that 30 seconds like a million times, dude. We got a release date! May 12th? Hold on, it's January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, May, May 13th. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 
I just have to I just have to rewatch that like immediately. Like I have to just think about all the all the beautiful links that I saw. Actually, it's more like a minute long trailer, but it's thirty seconds of watchable gameplay footage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Link, come on. Who wants to have gay sex? Man, I am so fucking blown away. Look how far away you can see into the distance from that height. And that's such like an interesting mechanic. That area looks so cool. I love the lighting and the colors. Oh man. And there's like this big symbol on the ground near Tabantha. Oh dude, I miss this world so much. I, there's been so many points in time where I've really wanted to just go back and play Zelda just to like hang around and, and be there. Um, but I can't because I'm at like the, the, the 200 hour max before it starts deleting your hero's path data. And I don't want to lose that. So I, I've just been like abstaining from Breath of the Wild, you know? And uh, man, that's great that we don't have to wait very much longer. Tears of the Kingdom is an interesting title though because they, they definitely have been using like Tears imagery before. There was like that like reverse like droplet in the, what, what was it, the E3 2021 trailer, where he's, like, letting his hair down and flying around in the sky for the first time. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see. I do I do want to also go back and see what the hell Miyamoto was talking about Pikmin 4, although I guess they just, just, they just did straight up show the game. So there's a, a bit less mystery involved with that. Hey, we got that Mario Kart stuff coming. This is a... I'll say, you know, from the, from the very beginning, for as packed as a, a 9 a.m. direct can be, this is about as good as it gets, you know? Um, like, it, it comes pretty close to it to a PM Direct. There's really a lot of new stuff that I'm, like, planning on getting now, like, actually. Um, it's really funny that people were talking about uh, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Metroid Prime, and none of those showed up. But they did get a completely out-of-left-field Return to Dreamland remake. That's great. Recently, we've been working on the finishing... Mm-hmm. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Yes. It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. Okay. Oh, that's what he said? We're still working on the series, and then he started talking about a mobile game? I'm glad I was talking over this. If, if I heard this shit, and he started talking about a mobile game, I would, like, become, like, an instant doomer, dude. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. I know where you walk. I know, I know where you live, Miyamoto. Their flowers will bloom. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. I do just want to look at that Pikmin 4 footage again just for the sake of it, because uh, I don't know if I like got cut off by like another thought or something like that, but it, it looks a lot like those uh, those three Pikmin short films that Miyamoto directed, like, uh, I guess it's 2013, almost a decade ago now. Um, they're really like going out of their way to try and make it look as close to that as possible, um, which I think is really nice. There's a lot of great like, like bokeh and depth of field here too. Um, even just like these few shots, it's a real treat to take in these spaces. Uh, and dare I say it's the prettiest game that they have shown off today. Okay, well then that's it though, that's it though. Um, man, so many people are gonna have to like find something new to talk about now. Like the game is real, what is, what is left to, to say? I'm sure in that 10 seconds of footage, there's going to be like a, like a two hour long game explain analysis footage that just like guesses the, the entire plot of like the 20 hour game based on that. <laughs> Anyways, um, that was the direct. That was a good one. That was a good one. I, I was really like underestimating it for quite a long time. Before I leave, I am going to go to the fireemblem.nintendo.com website and they may have additional images in the gallery. Uh, this could potentially be... Uh, why does fireemblem.nintendo.com just redirect to the Three Houses eShop page? Ew. I'm gonna see if I can find, like, any Nintendo blog post, um, for Fire Emblem Engage, and I'll, I'll pull that up if I can. If not, I'll see you guys next time. But I can do a little bit of scrolling here and, and see what you find, because, uh, when Xenoblade Chronicles 3 first got announced, they, like, immediately were following up with, like, a, lo like a, a blog post about it, um... But I guess the presentation is maybe still regarded as being, like, still live, so maybe they just don't have it up yet. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like they do. If that changes, I'll be sure to bring it up uh, during the Splatoon 3 stream. And uh, if not, then I guess you'll know what I, what I failed to find. Um, yeah, I really can't believe that leak is real. Like... I was really hoping it, it I don't know, I guess I was hoping that it was going to be, but... 
you know, I wouldn't complain if they made a good game instead, right? But, uh, yeah. The future is bright. I, I really do. I really don't have to play it. And it feels so freeing to be able to say that. God, I hate Fire Emblem! All right, well, that's been it for me. Uh, you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys later.